This is The Crucible in Sheffield. It's a theatre, an arts hub, a place for kids to hang around on a Friday night and of course most famously a snooker venue. Another place where small balls crash into each other at extraordinary speed is the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. This is also the setting for The Particle Fever, a new documentary about the attempts of scientists there to find the God Particle. Earlier today I had a conversation with the film's editor, the talented Mr Murch, a real godfather of his craft. Apocalypse. Wow. There's something philosophically about this piece of art that bothers me. It's taking a lot of sort of random things and making some order out of it. Yes. It's trying to make order out of something where there isn't any. Instead of taking things that don't seem ordered and figuring out that there is order. There's a famous line from Alfred Hitchcock uh, talking about feature films. He says, in feature films, uh, the director is God, in documentaries, God is the director. The Higgs boson is kind of the MacGuffin. Uh, it's interesting in the sense that uh, physicists are, were almost certain that they would discover it. They, they weren't completely sure. I mean, you always get surprises, but what they were really interested in was, yes, discovering the Higgs, but then going way beyond that and discovering um, the equivalent in physics of new galaxies, new particles that they never knew about before. And that hasn't happened. And that's a little perplexing uh, to people right now. They, they have discovered the Higgs, but nothing else. We take all the particles we know today and we attempt to fit them into some kind of underlying structure. Are they the remnants of some more beautiful and complete picture of the laws of nature. It's like you go to Egypt and you see ruins. If you look at it the right way, I could draw a pyramid and see that these chunks of stone are actually the remains of something very clean and very symmetric, very beautiful. What are we actually looking at when we look at this finer and finer details of the universe? Is this uh, going to explain everything or are we uh, in a sense looking at finer and finer uh, grains of emulsion of the film of the universe so to speak and are we missing the the story that's being told by the film we think possibly that that and many other particles are still out there and are all part of a much bigger symmetry a much bigger theory that includes the standard model, but much more. There's a mystery about the particle itself because it's, it's at an energy state uh, that nobody quite expected. Um, had it been uh, a little stronger or a little weaker, uh, the, the stability of the universe would have been guaranteed one way or the other. But at this value, it seems like our universe is poised on a knife edge and could in fact start to um, eat itself. If it does happen, there would be no warning. We would simply be sitting here talking in the interview and then suddenly we would disappear.